Nothing pairs better with a cheap turkey sandwich than a million dollar view. <laughs> Over lunch, <laughs> Doug Verdas shares his perspective. It's called the East Quarry of North Table. Over the years, the retired neurologist's life has reached great heights. Yeah, I look at peak, as, you know, peak, peak events, you know, graduation of your kids from college. Doug knows life up top is better mm -hmm. because of the climb. I'm Blake. Climbing. Movement Gym in Golden is where Doug can be found on most Tuesdays. At 69, he's been climbing for about 50 years and still feels a high. It's sort of like, well, this is a rush and you kind of want that rush again, like, like, a, like a drug act almost, so it's not damaging. Well, it's damaging if you get hurt. But the cliffs Doug has conquered are no match for his current climb. Parkinson's is a, we say, neurodegenerative disorder. We say motor symptoms, stiffness, rigidity, slowness of movement, uh, and tremor. I was formally diagnosed by a movement disorders neurologist in 2019. But my father had Parkinson's, so I knew I was at higher risk. That is what Doug thought about oh, when he was diagnosed. Can't say that on TV. <laughs> it, was a shock. I mean, it wasn't a shock, I knew it was coming, but it was, it was confirmatory of where I knew it was coming. I was bummed, sure. But sadness did not set. Yeah, you have Parkinson's too, right? I do, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. He, so he's a participant. He has Parkinson's as well. Doug keeps control. He's looking good. Along with Jared Sachs. Nice, Jared. Diagnosed with the disease at 34. I'm an avid climber, and, uh, you know, I've really been looking for people within the community that uh, are, are going through the same thing I am. Jared found it with help from Doug. Are you climbing Clear Creek? I have, yeah. I like, uh, we go to Staunton a lot. Doug started a chapter of Upending Parkinson's, a program created in Virginia by a gym manager and physical therapist. Nice. Who saw an improvement in symptoms from recliners who have the disease. Doug's years as a doctor made him realize climbing may be the best medicine. Yeah, looking, he's looking good. We know that exercise works almost as good as the drugs do, and it's a lot more fun and it's a lot safer. When you're on the wall, really, you don't think about anything else but what's in front of you. You know, you don't have to worry about what's going on at work, what's going on at, you know, in your personal life or just attacking the problem. This problem is something no one should face alone. Doug hopes more people like Jared will join him <laughs> and see for themselves how a climb can change more than the view. Mostly peaks. Yeah, a couple, couple valleys, sure. It's not over yet, come on. <laughs> That was Jaleesa Irizarry reporting. Radash says a study recently published in Austria proves sports climbing can improve some of the Parkinson's symptoms. The group meets every Tuesday at the Movement Gym in Golden. They welcome all levels of climbing if you're interested. You can even be brand new to the sport. They say they'd love to have you.